Okay, today we're going to look at the regex module. This is for pattern matching. Um, if you know any other languages, this is a this is something that's included in all of them. Um, let, let, let's get into it. This was this is made famous really by Perl, but pretty much all languages have it in there now. Okay, so okay, let's take over to here. The file. <clears throat> Let's say reg t dot v. Okay. So we'll do first. You have to import regex. Okay. And then funk main. Okay. So now we're gonna just put you know the text that we're gonna use, right? Okay. So first we're gonna pop in this text right here. And we're going to look for, first we're going to look for the phone numbers in here, right? Okay, so let's copy and paste this. Bam. And what I like to do is I like to go over to an online editor, you know, so that I can just test out the regex or the regular expressions. Okay, so let's get into it. All right, the first thing we want to check for is a parenthesis. So you can see that, it's the, you know, this, this dash, this, um, backslash right here is going to go for um is going to mean that first uh it's going to look for a parenthesis but it's going to escape it because per, uh, a parenthesis is actually used to match groups um let me see if i can give you an uh let me see if i give you an example so let's say let's just say um so you can see what i'm talking about slash d and we'll put uh, three. So this will match all. This is going to match all of these groups, and you can see that there's there's going to be three groups there. But but that's not what we want to do. So what we do want to do is we're going to put slash in front so that we can get these first three uh, three numbers, right? okay so now we're gonna we're gonna match the next three so we'll put slash d or back backslash d and just putting these uh brackets here that just means three characters right and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put a dot the dot means any character so anything can be in in between there right and then at the end we'll do slash d four Okay, so that's going to match all of these characters. Now, what I did was I put in a Mexican number here that has a, a plus 5, 2, right? So, in order to do this, we're going to have to, uh, okay, we're going to put a, uh, we're going we're gonna to match this group uh, like an optional match. Okay, so, so plus, so it's going to match that plus and then slash D, 2, okay? So it's going to match that whole group. But so that we can match both of these, we're going to make this optional by putting a question mark at the end. So it can match both of these right here, right? So now we're going to take this out of here, and we're going to take this back into V. Okay, first thing we're going to do is print out this text just to make sure everything is good. So print line, and then TXT, okay? So we got the text. All right, so... Okay, v dot reg, reg t dot v. We'll put in run so that it just does everything in one one shot. Oh, it's uh, I've been writing too much go. Okay, and it'll yell at you just like go if you don't use the regex module. Okay, so there we go. All right, so let's take that regex. So now we're gonna put this back in here. All right, so we're gonna put the pattern. So pattern, let's just call this phone pattern. Okay, and we'll put an escaped uh, 
pattern and bam so there that's what we got okay and here's where the magic happens uh, we put RE you know we're gonna make this mutable mutable RE and the assignment operator so we're gonna put regex dot regex opt and then we're gonna put the phone pattern in here okay and then to get back the uh, result we'll call this result we'll put RE because this, this one's actually just gonna compile the um, this this one's actually just gonna compile the uh, the uh, the pattern okay so now we're gonna actually apply it so RE dot find all strings okay and it's gonna we're gonna take it out of this text variable right all right so now let's print this result okay okay we got a problem here unidentified indent okay we didn't put uh didn't put that in there Okay, oh, you have to put an or block uh, uh, over here, right? To handle any exceptions. Okay, so we'll say panic error. Okay, so let's clear that. Okay, and there we go. You can see that we have our two, uh, it picks out our two, um, our two phone numbers we'll just put print line because you can use print line and then we'll just to make this clear we'll take out the text text that we wrote before okay so let's do this again okay now you can see the two phone numbers okay now we already just we just took out the phone numbers or match the phone numbers so let's do these two email addresses right here okay so let's go with that's W that's any word character let's say plus and then we're gonna have it this is gonna match the at sign right there right saying any uh, any word character uh, you know that's next to an, an at symbol and then and the plus actually means that you know it's more than one word character but match it up to the at character right and then we put um, uh, we, we, we can actually do like regular like PPP we see it out here PPP but what we're gonna do is another word character up to a dot and then we're gonna we're gonna go slash dot and we're that because dot is an actual character right and then we're gonna do slash W plus okay and that's gonna match both of them that's gonna match uh, the email addresses so let's take this over to V okay so we're gonna do the same thing we'll make this mutable we'll make this mutable so that we can uh, reuse that variable okay so let's say email email come on man pattern and then we'll make that uh, Bam. Okay. So now we have our email pattern. And we'll just use the same RE up here, right? The same RE we got here. RE. But we'll just do a regular equals because we're not assigning. You can only use that. You can only use this symbol when you're making the variable for the first time. So let's say regex. Dot regex opt. And then we'll put email pattern and then we'll put or panic er okay so and then we'll do the same thing for the result and we'll put 
re dot find all strings and we'll put that to the the text variable okay uh, I missed the uh, equal signs equal so let's say print line dash dollar sign result put this in parentheses see okay so now we have our two um, we have our two email addresses from this text up here okay perfect all right so now you can find this in a in a regular documentation or the uh, V documentation you know I, I'll, I'll go to it from here we'll go all right so V live and then we're just gonna come down to regex Okay, it's gonna go through all this blah 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 blah. Okay, if you want to look over here, you can do find all, and this will give you, this will give you the the positions, the positions of um, of uh, of where the the string is at in the text, right? Find all strings. It's just gonna return their strings back. All right, we got match string. Okay, yeah, this one's going to give you the position. Hold on, hold on. Let me go back up to this one. So what did the find one do? It tries to find the first match of the input string. Okay, okay, so it's going to find the first match. All right. And then we have replace down here. Basically the same deal. Match string. Okay, so you know what? We'll try uh we'll try to we'll try to replace deal right here, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and so what was the signature for that? So we'll replace in string and replace string. Okay, so now we're gonna replace all of the uh <clears throat> like I said we'll do replace the emails with the word email you know say maybe you wanted to block out email addresses from some text okay so we'll just put in here replace and then we'll put it with email all right we can't use the same uh, result variable because this is going to return an array or a slice or a list whatever you want to call it and we'll put so we'll put we'll change the variable name Come on. and we have to put the assignment operator for it right and then we'll come down here and change this and everything all both of the email addresses should say email okay so let's run this okay it's, it's yelling at me but you can see that you can see that it's uh, it's working it changed email it changed the email addresses to email and that's it